Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Watchtower in your Open Media Vault slash Docker home server. Now, I wanna be real clear, I don't necessarily condone doing things this way uh, because it's going to basically uh, take note of all of the different containers you've got running, and it will then monitor each of those containers and look for updates and apply them automatically, which sounds good in theory, except that if an update goes wrong, you may not know about it. Um, and, and I think it's always a good idea to be comfortable with and, and be familiar with going going in and updating containers uh, on your own uh, so that you can kind of keep track of what's going on and what updates have been applied, that sort of thing. Watchtower is gonna take that all out of your hands and it's going to apply all of the updates automatically. But I've had a lot of people request this, uh, so here we go. Okay, so here we are on my desktop and we're looking at Watchtower from Container. And we can see that it was or updated just a day ago at this point. So uh, very, very recently uh, updated. So that's, that's good, we like to see that. Uh, this is gonna be a real, real simple thing to do. Uh, basically what we're gonna do is just run this command right here in Putty. So what we'll do is we'll log into our uh, server here and I've got uh, Putty pulled up here. I'm gonna log into my Panda server. And of course it opened in the wrong window there. So I'll log in as root like so. And we'll just kind of drag that out of the way. We'll copy this, we'll paste that and we'll click go. So of course it can't find anything. It's gonna pull it. And there we go, now it's installed. So let's go over, here is Portainer. And if I refresh this, there is Watchtower running. We can see that it is running. It's uh, scheduling its first run uh, for about five minutes from now. So that's good. It is it is doing what it said it was going to do. Now, because I, of course I don't wanna keep you here and I don't wanna draw this video out for another five minutes while it does its thing, what I will do is show you this. This is what I've got running uh, on my actual home server because I wanted to test it out and see what it would do when there's lots and lots of containers running on my server. So uh, here we can see that <clears throat> it found a new jacket image. So it stopped jacket, it created a new jacket. Uh, it found a new Minecraft server, so it stopped the Minecraft server and created a new one. Um, so it kind of went through this process for each thing that it found. Uh, it stopped it, it pulled a new container, and it restarted the container with the settings that I already had applied in the first place. So that is one of the nice things about container is it does take your uh, previous settings into consideration when it creates the new container. Uh, so overall, that's it. That's all there is to installing um, Watchtower in your Docker setup. Okay, so like I said, very, very easy to set up. We just had to run uh, one command in PuTTY to get everything up and running. Uh, then it just kind of runs in the background and does its thing. Of course, you can go in and, and change some of those settings as far as uh, when you want it to restart, you know, uh, just always or only uh, when not manually stopped, that kind of thing. You can turn those settings on and off by going into uh, your portainer settings for that container. Um, again, I don't necessarily condone doing it this way because I feel like it's, it's lazy and it's got the opportunity to fail and cause problems uh, that may be harder to recover from than if you had just manually gone in and done all the updates yourself. But if this is what you wanna do, I'm gonna say go for it. Um, this just isn't necessarily my cup of tea. So uh, with that being said, a uh, couple of just quick things as per usual. Uh, if you want to uh, help support the channel, I've got a couple of ways to do that. Uh, actually three ways now. There's uh, below this video, uh, you should see a carousel with some merchandise. Um, it's, it's available though it's shipping very slowly because of everything going on. Uh, however, if you'd like to do something that's a bit more uh, instant gratification, there's a coffee link down below as well, where you can do a one-time tip to support the channel or if you're interested in becoming a patron over on Patreon, uh, I do have multiple levels of, of membership set up there. The $5 level will, however, give you access to a, uh, a patrons only Discord server where we can just kind of hang out and chat about whatever you want to chat about. So I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say in this video. Uh, so as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.